Welcome to St. Paul's Church, and welcome to this service of Vespers, using music of Johann Sebastian Bach. I hesitate to call it Bach Vespers because when most people hear the words Bach Vespers, they think, oh, cantatas, lots of cantatas, and which concertos will you be doing at the end? Um, well, we're not. That's not the nature of this service. What exactly is Vespers? Vespers started out as one of the uh, monastic services that monks used to sing and pray every day. It was an afternoon service. And after the Reformation in Germany, that service was retained in churches as sort of their generic afternoon service. During Lent in Lutheran Leipzig, um, they observed what was called a closed time, which is to say they put the instruments away. They turned off the organ. They laid off the organ blower. Um, basically, the organ was not turned on at all for the five Sundays of Lent. Um, the, only, the only exception to that would be if um, March 25th fell during Lent, and that is the Feast of the Annunciation, and there would have been a big service for that. But apart from that, no instrumental music whatsoever, and really not even harmonized music. We're going to overstep that a little bit. We have a couple hymns, chorales, that we're going to sing in harmonizations by Bach. Um, but basically, it's a very simple service. It's not all in German. When we think of the Reformation, we tend to think in terms of the English Reformation, where Latin was completely banished. Not so in Germany. In Bach's time, the, the worship at St. Thomas was very macaronic. There was plenty of German, mostly this, the elements that were sung by the congregation, the sermon, of course, um, I believe the readings, but a lot of the liturgical set piece portions of the service were still in Latin. So you'll hear that today. Um, most of the service is going to be sung in Latin. The chorales and the reading are going to be in German. This is, this is again, to evoke what that service was like in Bach's time. Most of the music that Bach performed was not cantatas. It was not organ music. It was liturgical music. It was plain chant. It was motets by dozens and dozens of composers other than himself. Um, it was simpler fare than we tend to think of when we think of Bach's sacred music. And that's because Nowadays, we tend to think of the cherry on the Sunday thing as the norm. That was the special piece. But um, Sebastian Bach directed over 10,000 services while he was cantor at um, St. Thomas in Leipzig. And in those 10,000 services, most of what he performed was the simpler fare of plain chant and chorales and um, other liturgical music um, apart from the big cantatas. So that's what we're going to hear today, the simple Vesper service. Oh, mm -hmm. 
But when Christ came as a high priest of the good things that have come, then through the greater and perfect tent, not made with hands, that is, not of this creation, he entered once for all into the holy place, not with the blood of goats and calves, but with his own blood, thus obtaining eternal redemption. For if the blood of goats and bulls with the sprinkling of the ashes of a heifer sanctifies those who have been defiled so that their flesh is purified, how much more will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal Spirit offered himself without blemish to God, purify our conscience from dead works to worship the living God. For this reason, he is the mediator of a new covenant. So that those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance because a death has occurred that redeems them from the transgressions under the first covenant.
Yeah. Mm-hmm. 